We just had another night of no power. Went off from midnight and it came back on at one o'clock. There's not a single puff of wind blowing. And of course, you know, as I mentioned yesterday, the generator in my building doesn't control our air conditioners or our environment at all. It only powers the elevators and the, some lights and garage doors and our refrigerators. So this is day number three of eight hours of power outages for the day. And I checked the schedule for today and yet again, it's gonna be off from noon to 4 p.m. So uh, and then I got, when I checked my mail this morning, here's an email from ACS Keto State Government. It says that uh, school and business closures and significant plan electrical outages. This is dated April 17th. And it says, alert, school and business closures and significant plan electrical outages, location nationwide. The event on April 17th, Ecuador's President Daniel Noboa issued a new decree suspending the school and work day for both private and public institutions on April 18th and 19th, that's today and tomorrow. Some private businesses may remain open, but planned electrical outages will significantly impact the availability of services. The United States Embassy and consulate in Ecuador will remain open. All consular appointments remain as scheduled. I have a, you know, I, there's, I've, I've been monitoring Facebook. I'm looking at uh, the posts from people that uh, talk about this and, you know, we that we have so many experts here, you know, Facebook and YouTube experts that tell us that this is going to last 60 days. They're talking about this going 60 days. The infrastructure here is so poor and the electrical infrastructure here is so poor, poorly maintained. I mean, I, I, I can kind of believe it because last year the power line right here split in two between the poles where it was twisted together, like, you know, two pieces of wire where they twisted it together like that to, as a split, okay? Or no, not as a split, as a splice. That's the way it was. In the tents, just finally, you know, they snapped loose and we have live power wire laying on the, on the road right in front of the building in which I live. So, and, and of course, I mean, every year when it rains, we have transformers around here that blow up and wait until you heard one of those things go off. It's quite exciting. So the, yeah, the infrastructure, you know, is, I mean, here in Monta, I mean, you look around, you see telephone poles, and you see hundreds and hundreds of wires hanging off of them. And it's a wonder that anything really works here at all, to tell you the truth, in, in, in regards to the electrical infrastructure. So maybe the new administration is going to help get this straightened out, but it's going to take some time. Unfortunately for me, I live in a building where it's not really convenient for me to not have power. To make matters worse, yesterday uh, the elevators wouldn't work, even with the generators running, and I had to walk up 10 flights of stairs to get to my apartment. And that's not easy for me to do. I mean, I made it, and it really was you know, easier than I thought it was going to be, but uh, it's it was painful. You know, it took me a while, and uh, but you know, fortunately, I think what had happened is that uh, somehow the, the elevator system blew a fuse or something, and they, they have it working now. But who's to say that it won't be you know down again? So. But that's what's going on here, folks, and there, if you're planning to come here, uh, be advised that, you know, hopefully you get into a building that has a full building generator that will, uh, you know, enable you to live throughout the day with, without any interruptions from power. And as far as the long-term look of this, who knows?